Paul, back to you. Something to look forward to on Bloomberg Markets. Now time for top picks from Barry Schwartz, the number one pick today, very Vale Resorts, ticker symbol MTN Mountain on the New York Stock Exchange. Thank you, Paul. Yeah, so uh, Vail stock has fallen to almost the same price it was uh, during COVID, which makes no sense to us because things are fine, right? And during COVID, you weren't allowed to do anything. And now, uh, of course, Vail's probably going to report record results for 2021 and uh, for 2021-2022 uh, ski year. And looks like past sales are very strong for the 2022-2023 year. So, uh, you know, all systems go, uh, you know, so... We're not building any more mountains. Vail is acquiring uh, anyone that's for sale. Strong management team. Uh, nice dividend yield here. This business generates a lot of free cash flow. Uh, you know, they get they get the money up front from selling epic passes. The uh, and uh, you know, let's face it, this is a wealthy sport. So this is you know, this is not a family that's uh, going to be concerned so much about inflation. Uh, you know, whether they're going to travel or not or go skiing. Uh, so this is reserved for higher end uh, clientele, and they're going to go skiing no matter uh, what the economy looks like. So we're we're pretty attracted right now to the, the price of the stock and think it's worth well north of $300 a share. And is it correct, Barry, that this company, Vail, uh, owns extensive operations in Whistler, B.C. as well? That is correct. Uh, Whistler is one of their only Canadian uh, 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 mountains, but they're looking to acquire more. They just made an acquisition, of course, in Europe. Uh, they have uh, uh, relationships in Japan and Australia. This is a global business, very exciting, and for it's uh, a great deal for people that ski. They get to they get to use the pass on pretty much any of them any of the hills that it has across the globe. Okay. Uh, number two, American Tower, the company that uh, doesn't provide cellular service but facilitates it through its towers. Yeah, so I, I'm looking to come up with long life assets, things that are very predictable. Uh, American Tower owns, uh, I think, 180,000 plus towers and antennas across the globe, and it rents out space on the on the towers to the cell phone providers in each in each country. Charges rent. A, a lot of the contracts are fixed for one year or two years, and then uh, in, in other countries, it's uh, the prices are changed with inflation. And so, you know, very nice stream of, of uh, rising revenues tied. To inflation, as well as a high-margin business, it uh, ra it's raises dividend pretty much every quarter, going back uh, many many years. And you know, like I said, no one's going to give up their cell phones in good times and bad times. Then you know, we're all doing more things on our phones, watching Netflix and videos and consuming Spotify. That uses up so much data, and we're switching to 5G. So you got to put more equipment on its towers. Wonderful business. Okay, and number three, one of the best known stocks in the world of investing, Microsoft. I, I, you know, when I looked at Microsoft's uh, valuation trading around 24, 25 times next year's earnings, it's almost done its 2022 uh, year. Uh, you know, I think this is an interesting entry point. Uh, you know, stock got, obviously, everybody got ahead of itself. It used to trade at 35 times earnings. Now it's 25 times earnings. Could it get to 15 or 20? Don't know. But uh, the bottom line is, this is like like Apple, one of the top businesses in the world, and the demand for cloud and security and gaming, and uh, you know, just signed a deal with Netflix to be the ad provider. Uh, there's so many rev revenue streams for Microsoft, and I've said it many times: you can't run your life, you can't run your business, you can't run your your home life without Microsoft products and services. And so it's here to stay, and only going to grow from here. Satya Nadella has been the uh, CEO of the company since 2014, taking over from. Steve Ballmer, uh, he would deserve a lot of credit for the, uh, the performance of this company. Would you agree? Oh, you nailed it. He's the, a brilliant CEO and uh, managed to transition from really just selling uh, Windows uh, products to the, the cloud and enterprise. And, and you, you know, it's we now everybody uses Teams, everybody uses LinkedIn, uh, just smart acquisitions. Uh, they're trying to close this Activision deal to get more into gaming. And so uh, who knows what's going to happen with this partnership with Netflix. It's, it's so exciting, uh, all the different things pieces uh, that uh, Microsoft has its you know, fingers in. And so uh, it's a masterstroke from Nadella, and I hope he's not going anywhere. 